with Arrow Productions, three processes and the adaptation of Build My Gallows High to Out of the Past. Number one, streamlining. This is a short book, but it's faltering and slow. It was only easy to find because of the movie. While some of Daniel Mainwaring's original dialogue made it into the movie, credit for making it sing is often given to Frank Fenton, who is uncredited at the time. Lots of characters went away, and the story was more powerful. Number two, homogenization. The first thing you notice after reading the book is that fewer people are really different. While segregation was still the law back then, showing blatant stereotypes was starting to become problematic. Mumsy McGonagall, the femme fatale, thus becomes the more generic Kathy Moffat. In the book, Mumsy looked like she was going to be a stereotypical Irish gangster, but she wasn't. It appears that the idea was never developed, or that stereotype was taken out long before the book approached publication, but the name was left in. Some of you might recognize Moffat as a Scottish name and wonder why it's more generic. It has to do with the immigration waves in the U.S. One could still hear Irish accents in 1946, but the Scots had arrived and become part of the general population much earlier. In the context of the U.S. population, these labels refer to ethnicity rather than one's legal nationality. Back then, many of those currently regarded as white people were members of separate ethnic groups. The kid, as he is known, has a much smaller role in the movie than he did in the book. In both instances, he is deaf and works at Jeff's gas station. Number three, different location emphasis. Most of the book takes place in Lake Tahoe. While it was and is a good location, the filmmakers chose to shift the emphasis to Mexico. The Good Neighbor era was still in full swing, and they even went to Mexico City. Robert Mitchum's narration leads us down the Reforma, and then on to Acapulco. Have you read the book and seen the movie? What differences did you notice? Let us know in the comments.